What's up everybody? It's Gideon from Mana Entertainment. I'm back here with a new video. It's going to be my honest and first impressions about Damon X Machina for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I just want to let you guys know that for this video, um, I still don't have a capture card. I don't know when I'm going to get one or if I'm going to get one. That really depends on where the content goes for this channel. But anyway, so I'm kind of going to record it old school, which is me recording um, the, ca the TV screen at 60 frames per second. I'll be processing the video at 60 frames per second as well, 1080p. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll show you guys what I think about the game, how I feel. Um, everything's gonna be kind of brand new. So stick around, watch the video, hope you enjoy it. Get in from Anna Entertainment, peace. Alright, so here we go with my initial impressions of Damon X Machina. I don't think I can do anything about that glare in the skylight. I apologize. I always like playing with Japanese audio wherever possible for Japanese games. And I like reading my English subtitles, so let's go with that. Okay. Digging this song so far. So not just a slight tinge. There we go. Now I think I can see the whole screen. Yeah, there we go. Damn, music is freaking epic. And I already like the visual style from before. Let me lower it a little bit. Okay, here we go. My first playthrough of the demo. One thing I really like about um, exclusive Nintendo Switch games is that we know that Switch doesn't have the most power on the block. So, you know, obviously you're not going to get the best graphics ever, but they do, they work really well with what they have. Oh, cool. Here we go. Gender. Male or female. Female looks kind of cooler, but let me see. I'm a dude, so I'm going to want to play with a dude. Skin color. Let's try to match my skin color, which is probably not this dark. I want to say I'm more like this or this. Let's go. Let me see. Yeah, more like this. Or am I more like this? Yeah, that looks more like me. All right. Care. Your style. Obviously, it's a Japanese game, so they don't have any hairstyles that are, uh, you know, like mine. So this is the closest that will go. So it doesn't have to look like me. That's that's okay. I don't care about if the character looks exactly like me or not. Kind of like this classic anime look. Hair color. All right, this is fantasy, so let's go with some something other than conventional hair colors. Naruto. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. This color reminds me of, um, if you guys remember from Street Fighter 3, uh, Remy. Kind of like that. I'm going to go with it. Try not to take too long on this character create thing, but uh, let's see. Shape. <laughs> That's closer to my look. I'm old, but I'm not that old. How about my eyebrows? Let's give him some manly eyebrows like that. Eyebrow position. Let's put it down so that we know he's 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 all about the business. This guy is not messing around. Not too close, because then it's going to be a unibrow. There you go. Not that there's anything wrong with unibrows, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want this guy to be... <laughs> he can either be sad or extremely angry, but let's make him like uh, more like determined. There we go. He's ready to do something. Eyebrow color. Let's make it his natural hair color, right? 
facial hair. Yeah, he's a man's man, that's for sure. Why don't we just make it like black? Nah, that's weird. Let's have it be his actual hair color. It's fantasy, it's sci fi. I like uh, playing with it, you know what I'm saying? Can't really tell much of a difference in the eyes. Oh, cool. With the right analog stick, you can kind of move in and out. All right. Uh... Ooh, nice. Let's go with like a yellow. I like the contrast of yellow and green. Scar tattoos. He looks pretty gruff. I mean, a scar wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, this is from his fight with a tiger. Or a tiger-like robot. Cosmetic eyeliner? Nah, dude. Outer suits. Oh, sick. See, I kind of want to go with like a sky blue, but no, I don't want sky blue to be the main theme. Let's make it black. Oh, this is kind of cool. With like a wine color. And then let's get that sky blue to accent it. Nice. Digging it. Finish. My name is going to be the name that I use in almost every game. Which, uh, let's actually do that. Sama. Kurisu Sama no. Oh, that's not gonna work in this game, so we'll just leave it as Kurisu. Apologize for the lack of focus when um you know when when we're playing this thing right here. Oh, sorry. Maybe I'll cut out these segments of load time and stuff. I gotta learn how to how to shave off some time so I don't make my videos too long and uninteresting. Ohayou gozaimasu. Four. I really dig the visual style in this game. Feeling it. Ooh, nice. Runs nice and smooth, so B button does nothing, A does nothing. Oh, looks like if I hold the Y button, I am getting some dashing action going on. X is traditionally menus in games, but it's not doing anything. Start. Actually, I'll pause here so I can uh, record the next clip. I probably won't make it too long, but we'll see. Okay, so A to access. Orders. Let's see what's going on here. Cool. Accepting orders and will advance the main story. Select an order in this patch. Offer order rank. Okay. I have no idea what's going on right now. I'm just kind of thrown into the game. So uh, let's start. Let's see what's going on. Welcome to the battlefield. <laughs> My guy looks really cool. So 
a battle seasoned old dude. That's how I feel. I feel like with four kids, I'm a battle seasoned old gamer dude. Arsenal on standby. I, um, I don't know whether I should leave those in or cut it out. これは実践ですが、力を受けてください。これで落とされる人はまず出せ。コンテストにはベテランの要件理念が立ち上げ。ウエスト7のリーダー。エクセイテストの立ち会い員として、同行させても。そうですね。私はパンサークラウドのクイ
do I need to heal right now? No, it looks like my VP is, I'm assuming, my HP in, like, other games. It's a little bit on the weird side, but... I kind of have that Iron Man vibe going on when I, when I lock on with those missiles. It's kind of cool. Assault rifle and missiles. Let's get it. Control's not too bad once you get the hang of it. Some healing action going on. Oh, you can't shoot from here, huh? Oh, yes you can. Okay, now I heard that in this game you can like do stuff like actually equip like parts of enemies on the fly. I don't see that yet, so is that something that they were just talking about that's going to be in the final game? Or is that something that, you know, I can do and I just don't know how to do it yet? Let me try hitting different stuff. So select, no, start, There's options and manual, no, it's not what I want. Uh, D-pad, oh, D-pad. Uh... Okay, so, looks like now I have a shield in my left. Oh, now my gun is on the left. Okay, so I'm not really quite sure how I changed the shield to the left side. But, um, yeah, let's see what's going on. What's up with this stuff? Can I blow it up? Oh, my shield is on the left now. Oh, this looks like they're just art assets. Nothing really to do. Follow those orange arrows, I'm assuming is where I need to go. Stim notice? What? what? Let's scan. How do I scan? With A. I'm pressing A, but why am I not scanning? Am I scanning the wrong thing? What am I supposed to scan? Okay, that's confusing. Could be a bug, maybe? What the heck am I supposed to scan, really? Alright, that's weird. Alright, so, um... Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, um... This game probably has potential, and I probably need to give it more than just... 15 to 20 minutes of gameplay to really understand what's going on but uh i think i'm gonna end my gameplay session here all right so my initial impressions on damon x machina is presentation wise i really like it has really cool colorful anime style i'm definitely into anime i love anime stuff um it kind of reminds me a little bit of neon genesis evangelion it has that kind of like post-apocalyptic feel so theme graphics visual presentation i really like now i will say i know that this is a prototype and nintendo is looking for feedback uh rather the the company that's making this is looking for feedback now gameplay wise i feel like it has a lot of potential but at the same time for that quick impression i mean this isn't a review right this is just my first impression my initial impression is is that things are kind of all over the place i don't really have a sense of what i'm supposed to do or where i'm supposed to go um I, I wasn't quite sure if how I switched weapons at the end. I was I was really excited when I read about and I heard about that mechanic about how you can switch weapons and you know you can kinda like um you can do a lot of cool things like like pick up like you know defeated robots like armor parts or whatever. But um one thing I think would be really cool is if you've seen visual representation of that on the floor instead of just a little sparkling light. Uh the the control, um you know, I know it's a silly thing because, uh, you know, most gamers pick up stuff after a while, but you should kind of have, like, some way of letting the player know how, um, you know, to, to control the game. Like, as far as, like, they have that on-screen indicator, but then I, for I was kind of forgetting, like, as I was playing, how I'm supposed to descend, how I'm supposed to fly and stuff like that. So, um, I, I managed to figure it out after pressing everything, but... Um, I, I think it would be really cool is, is, is instead of like for the D-pad, instead of having that like just those four slots, 
if maybe they use a radio menu and show you what you have, kind of like a Metal Gear Solid or something, or like maybe, you know, like you press the, the, the D-pad or something or hold it and it, you know, cycles through, you can kind of cycle through once you open that menu or something with the right stick. I think that would be um, pretty cool from a usability standpoint. But yeah, as far as the game itself, the gameplay, uh, it feels a little rough around the edges. For the kind of game that it is, I think it has a lot of potential. I really want to love this game. I like it a lot. Um, they're a little chatty, a little too chatty for, for my taste. I feel like if they're going to be uh, talking so much, it should be during story segments as opposed to just like pre-mission banter. You know what I mean? And then like during the story, they're like silent. So I'm not sure what they're going for there, but um, it doesn't feel as uh, intuitive as I would like to. So, yeah, I guess my first impression is, is that it's still rough, and this is obviously a prototype mission. Um, they're still working on it. I'll play it again on my own free time, just so I can kind of like, you know, when I get the free time, I'll play it again to see how I feel about it. But um, as of right now, it doesn't seem like a game that I would buy a Switch for, and it doesn't seem like the game that I would run out to get on day one. But all things considered, I want that game because... I. Something about it, I think the whole like feel and the setup and like I love the red, black, and white. Obviously, like that's the colors of Mana Entertainment. So they already got me there, right? I love that color theme. Um, but I want to like this game a lot, and I do like the Japanese voice acting. Um, it's a little bit dramatic. I don't know what the English sounds like yet, but um, yeah, it's anime. It's you know, it seems like it's for anime mech fans. So Neon Genesis Evangelion. You know, if you're into like um. What is it like uh the old mech warrior games i think i believe that's the the creators of, of the mech warrior games are actually doing those so uh yeah i'm hoping for the best so hope you guys enjoyed it Gideon from Mana entertainment see you next one